I don't know, for some reason it does something different. <laughs> let's begin with the question of today it says is there any glue that do not leave residue i am a brown skinned girl i have to wear wigs please help all right so in my opinion and I talk about this all the time. Whenever I use wig glue, wig adhesive, or wig adhesive spray, I don't like to use too much because I do notice that if you use too much product, it can cause that residue or too much residue on the hairline. It can even cause you to have, you know, lots of buildup around the hairline that can look white or flaky or whatever. So anytime I do my wig installs, no matter what glue or adhesive I use, I make sure to follow one simple rule and that is less is better. You still are going to get a great hold. So if you are finding that you have residue from any products, um, which all of them will leave residue, try using less of the product and see if that helps. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to drop them below. I will either answer them directly or in a video. Let's jump right into today's video. We have so much to cover in today's video. This wig will be linked below in the description box along with a discount. So this is a reinstall. However, this wig is so pretty. It's a curly short bob, a 13 by six lace cap and 16 inches, of course, and it comes with a new upgraded hairline. So again, this wig will be linked below. We're going to use this wig for today's demonstration. And yeah, also, if you all want to, you can follow me on TikTok. From here on out, I'm going to be posting makeup tutorials on my TikTok. So if you would like to see that go ahead and follow me over there can y'all believe that they came out with a got to be glue for wigs when i saw this i was like i have to try it today i'm just going to give you all the install i'm going to come back tomorrow if this holds up now reading the bottle it says co-created with protective style wearers got to be glue bonding glue provides invisible residue free bonding for your wig while being gentle on the scalp so my big thing with this i want to test out is this better than the actual gel that they normally have for the hair or is it just like the hole for that I do love the packaging. The packaging is so pretty. She almost reminds me of her. <laughs> love the packaging. It's so pretty. I picked this up on my own just because I saw it. It's like unpaid review right now. So I'm gonna give you guys my full thoughts on today's product. Let's look at the consistency of it and the texture is similar to the actual gel. I don't really see a difference. The smell is also about the same. So it says slide back edges away from the hairline. Apply a thin layer of bonding gel to a clean dry hairline and allow one or two minutes for glue to get tacky but not fully dry. To accelerate dry time use a blow dryer on cool setting and that's what I did. Add layers as needed for desired level of hold. I'm only using one layer of this. And position the wig as desired. Press the edge into the semi-dry glue from the front hairline down to the sides. Allow to fully dry. It says to remove the extra glue uh, off the front of the hairline or to remove it to use their flash glue remover. Now I don't have that. To be honest, I thought this would be just like their gels. I, it does not say that it's waterproof or sweat proof, which I am going to test. So I was thinking that you can just remove this with water just like you do any other wig adhesive. So I will be testing out all of that. But right now, um, the application is laying down pretty well with the glue. So there's a few things that I actually want to see with this. I know some of you say that the regular got to be turns white or leaves residue around the hairline. Is this glue actually going to do the same thing? Will it turn crusty? Will it have white residue? The application is very simple. It does take this a little while to dry with cool air, but I don't recommend using warm air, just cool air with any um, adhesive spray or adhesive gel just because I don't know for some reason it does something different <laughs> when it comes to the application tie it down for 15 minutes let it sit and then see what the hairline look like hopefully the band isn't stuck to the glue or anything like that. Um, I did let it dry as much as I could before I actually applied it down so we're going to see what it looks like in about 15 minutes 
All right, are you all ready for the big reveal? I was so curious to see if this band is stuck, but it removed very clean. There is no residue on the hairline. There's no white residue. Nothing looks tacky or messy. So I can appreciate that. Anytime that happens, I always be so glad because I never want to have to redo my wig install. So the hairline looks good. There are a few strands of hair that is stuck into the, the glue, but I mean, for the most part, everything look good and the hair itself is so pretty now i do have a full video on how to define the curls on a curly wig because girl this wig is so pretty it looks so natural if you're looking for that 3b look um in curls this definitely is giving All right, so far, so good. The hairline feels amazing. Like, it looks amazing. I feel the hold with this. Now, I do have my straps in the back adjusted um, so it is secure. I'm only telling you this because a lot of times I notice that it's easier to apply your wig when you adjust the straps. However, if you go throughout your day and you remove these straps, like loosen them up, what usually will happen is it will loosen up the hairline too. So you want to may consider that maybe gluing down the front and then adjusting the straps in the back after the hairline is glued down so that you won't get any interference with the application. But so far, so good. Looks really good. I can't wait to go throughout my day. It feels a little bit tight, but not uncomfortable. It definitely feels really comfortable. There's no white residue or anything like that, but this hair is absolutely gorgeous. If you are looking for a wig, this is a curly bob. This is actually a reinstall with this wig. So I've had this wig for probably about two months now and look at it. It still look good. I've already washed it and everything. So yeah, it does come in a dark brown and a black color i have this one in the dark brown of course i'm going to let you guys know probably tomorrow what this wig looks like but before i go i want to give you guys so i had a lovely subscriber send me something i want to share with you all that i think you all would love because i know you've been checking it out in the video i know you have so let's get right into that <laughs> So if you are loving my nails, these nails are actually press-ons that was sent to me by one of my lovely, lovely subscribers. And I love them so much. I was like, I'm going to share them. She didn't ask me to, but I was like, I'm going to share them with you all because if you are looking for some custom nails that are easy to apply, she customizes any design you want. She allowed me to choose four sets. The first one is the one I'm wearing right here. Her company is called Tips of Elegance. She is a black owned company, small business, of course, and she did provide you you all with a discount code you can use marie 10 but this is the sets that i chose the first one is a beautiful nude set then i have this purple leopard print and an orange with swirls and she has so many designs on her website and she can customize any one that you want even if it's not on her website and she can also size it up to your actual nail so she did send me a kit to size up each nail she gives you the custom um, option for that and also the length you can choose the length the nail shape and everything i really do love when you all send me things and i love this set so much all of them was really pretty i appreciate you so much for sending that over and you guys go check her out the link will be below in the description box i am back from my workout and as you guys can see this wig is still stuck down I am going to insert some clips so you all can actually see what it was like when I was working out. I say this all the time. I always use my edge band around my hairline no matter what the glue is. Just because I want to make sure that I don't ruin my application because sweat can be really, really intense especially if you sweat from your head and i know i do i kept it tied down i wanted to see what it was like removing the band while i was working out i wanted to see if the hole was still there so in the middle of my workout i just decided to kind of take off the band and see what it was like i wanted to see if the if the glue was lifting if i had any lace that was lifting to be honest it was still stuck down now i didn't yank it or anything um because i knew that it had moisture on it and like i said i don't know if this is supposed to be waterproof or not or sweat proof but into my workout i took my band off got in the car i wanted to show you all what it looked like in the sunlight it was adhered back down and i just kind of let the cool air conditioner blow on my hairline in the car and this is where we are right now so it's still stuck like and I know for a fact the actual gel, um, it didn't really hold for me through sweat at all. So the formula is definitely a little bit different, 
But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow to let you all know how it held up overnight. But the hair still looks good too. Like if you thought you couldn't work out in your wigs, girl, this hair is gorgeous. It's a little bit more frizzy, but it's super pretty. Everything will be linked below in the description box. Be sure to check down there. Um, yeah, and I'll see you back in the next video.